My name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. Today we are uh, playing around with the um, advanced ambulant rejection. This is our, I forgot to put in that other abbreviation in there. So anyway, it's supposed to be dark, but I forgot to put it in there. I'll put it in there later on. It's supposed to be dark ambulant rejection uh, gaming cinema, which I didn't put that in there when I actually was putting in the uh, title. But we'll do that when I get back in and finish uh, the um in the rest of the time. So this is the product, the new screen paint that's going to be coming out. It's the Gaming Cinema. It's going to be coming out in, um, in on October the 2nd. And this is another one of the products, like I said, that's going to have its own form of signature by itself. So we have the, and it's going to be called the, um, I wanted to call it the Professional, but I think we're going to call it the um, Performance. So High Performance Black, that's going to be the other one. And the other one's going to be the Gaming Cinema. Uh, this one right here has the contrast shifting technology to make the screen produce better contrast levels and it also too has that gamer technology which allows me to produce the high bright colors which i can't wait to get this one finished so we can coat this one with the black stuff so we've done that i need me a chair desperately because i'm not standing up and doing it i can sit down i don't know yeah i'll get me a chair This is the one I have to get outside today. Like I said, the weather's been a little bit iffy, but I still got to be out there. I'm hoping my projector doesn't get damaged in the process because um, I need the pictures or we're going to have to postpone the launch date for it. Um, but um, I need to get the pictures for outside and I need to get the pictures for inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some pictures outside, some pictures inside, and I have to do some demonstrations off of it. Then after that, we take the outside pictures and inside pictures, those get posted to the website. So this will be on the website probably later on tonight. Um, I got to get the labels done, designed today, and I have to have the pictures taken, which I got to do right there on the kitchen area, and I have to get all that set up and done. Then once that's finished, this is finalized and done, then we coat the new other black high-performance technology, or I keep forgetting it, we're going to call high-performance. I'm going to call it high-performance. I have to figure out what I'm going to call it high-performance or professional. I haven't decided which one. But I think I'm going to go with the professional on that one. I just finally got in and got this game updated right here. Which I'm glad I got that done. So I'm going to check out some of the YouTube videos on this. Calibrating, no overpriced, expensive projectors, like I said. So, using my 270 behind me, this is the screen we did the swap out on. We went for 1000, we went for 38, and we went for 5000. Let me check out what else we have on here to play around with. And as I said before, this screen is not black. This is using the uh, contrast shifting technology, which allows the screen to read black levels.
also our our name on our channel will be changing. I told you some stuff's gonna be changing real quick. We got another company we're building. And it involves all dark technology. So the name on this channel will be changing. Website domain will be changing. Even the Facebook fan page will be changing. campaign for dark technology is to prove that gray screens and white screens are obsolete and that's what they are it's old technology i don't even know why people still use it people have up-to-date projectors and your screens are old i don't need 10,000 or 20,000 contrast ratio on my projector in order to produce this level my projector is only four behind me For brand new projectors, you got an obsolete screen. I can go downstairs today and I can show you on a motorized projection screen where if I bring my screen down, I can cancel out all that excess light that reflects around the environment where a lighter gray screen is going to produce all this excess light all over the environment. I can show you demonstrations outside where we can have black screens outside that can maintain their images without the screen washing out or fading at 7 o'clock in the evening. Or even if you were able to fire up a white screen at 8 and 9 or, 8 and, or 10 o'clock, you still couldn't pick up a contrast level. I'll tell you, it's an obsolete product. The gray and white screens are obsolete. Not dark technology, it should it's not worth your time. So it's simple display right there on that piece of fruit right there. So that background is supposed to be black. Now, because this is using that shifting technology we developed. We can produce that black level. It's not going to be too much black screen, but you know. So, 
think your gray screen can pick up that black level right there. Right? It can't. Certified. It is certified. Certified screens right here. I'm only on the black level only. Let's see if you can they can pick it up. And this is what I think that the future, and it's not what I think, the future is darker technology. It isn't these light gray technologies. They don't work. They're obsolete. I got a shade too. White screen. I think the next couple of days we're going to be doing some demonstrations on darker technologies than what we're working on right now versus gray. Dark versus gray. To see exactly which product is more superior. And you can contact any big any one of these big companies and ask them. They'll tell you right from the door. Go to ABS Forms, which I'm not a big fan of their site, and go ask them. They'll tell you right from the door. Any place you go to involving any form of projector, projection, uh, multimedia form site or whatever, are going to tell you right from the door. The darker technology is more advanced. Just say this. You got it old. Old, obsolete, obsolete, obsolete. Just like the I get higher bright levels. I've heard it all before. I've been in every form site you can find, just about every form site you can possibly think of. Got a 135 inch Phoenix black outside. If I were to take that technology and take any one of these screens, neither one of them, neither one of them would pull up outside with no problem. They wouldn't pull up. See all that talk back then about how darker screens couldn't pull high enough white levels? Well, with the technology we develop, that's a thing of the past now. We have tech dark screens that can pull up very bright high white levels. Let's go grab this demonstration right here. I like those deep reds. For instance, here we go. Mind you, this screen's not black. It just has a code unit that allows it to be able to see a contrast level. It can mimic contrast levels. But it's not black. And there's no other gray screen on a planet that has that shifting technology. We're the only ones who have it. anyone wants to sit here and have a conversation with me about screen paints I got a paint on screen sample downstairs in the bottom of the kitchen drawer from a company that develops a they say it's black but it's gray and we have the UV mix over there we can go downstairs and we can take those products and we can put them up against a Phoenix or a motorized projection screen and we can bring up a white level and I can show you where a Phoenix can see a white level they can't Now 
now we have this new technology that can mimic contrast levels. Looks like it's black, but it's not black. It's nowhere near a black screen. Light gray screen products are obsolete. That's why I showed you in the video eight years ago, nine years ago, me painting a gray screen paint product. I told you, your product is old. In these particular screens, they have to have four thousand and three thousand dollars expensive projectors. Projectors do all the work. I can sit here with my old projector at two hundred seventy bucks. Let's pull in some really nice heavies. I like to pull in the heavy contrast levels. I'm studying visual communication design. It's what I want to do with my dream job. I love my schedule because it helps me go to school. to a form site did a demonstration and someone asked me what did I have to go through to calibrate my projector and I had to sit there and tell them what, what do you mean by calibrate we don't calibrate projectors over here I can't seem to get my color to pop up right I can't get my contrast to focus right how are we using this in a fully lit environment how is the screen that dark picking up an image I heard them all wrong with your projector. You don't have to calibrate your projector. The problem is in your screen. That's the problem you're having. Nothing wrong with your environment. There's nothing wrong with it. It's your screen at the end of the day. It's old. It's outdated. You think of the bigger picture people. I can take an old projector and I can put it against the latest and newest high performance sample sheet screens on the market and I can beat every last one of them with no problem. And I can do this in a fully lit environment without calibrating a projector and using an old model projector while doing it. But they, on the other hand, have to do their demonstrations on the latest, top, and most expensive projector, ambient light controlled environment, and a calibrated projector. And that speaks volumes right there. And then you're stuck to their platform, which means at 100 inches, you're gonna spend three to five grand. This technology won't even cost you that kind of money. And you can paint up to a 130 inch screen or turn anything you want into a projection screen. It's your choice. Paint it on fabric, take it outside, use it as an outdoor projection screen. I've got a 150 inch of a Phoenix sitting in my backyard. And if I wanna go outside and watch a football game at six or seven o'clock, I can go do that. Options. All about options. Now this technology will be launched on Tuesday if we can get it outside that's all it comes down to if we can get it outside because right now the weather is a bit spotty and i do not want to take a projector out there it's going to get damaged but it saying everything is looking pretty nice up there so we might be out there today to get this done we just need those final pictures 
See what scholarships you qualify for. Find your purpose. Now, I will have this one. This is the Gamer Cinema. I already got a half a quart. No, I'm sorry. I got two quarts of it sitting there on the kitchen table. I will be painting my 155 inch upstairs. I already got enough Phoenix. Uh, the Gamers, I got a bunch of those upstairs. So I'm going to paint that one upstairs and that black screen in the next room. That, um, uh, professional, we're gonna get professional, we're either gonna professional or we're gonna call it the performance. I can figure which one to go with it. But either way, that jet black screen, that's gonna it's gonna go over there in the next room over my Phoenix. I have quite a few Phoenix. Remember my ceiling's a Phoenix. I have my students an actual projection screen, and then I got 135 of it sitting on my deck right now. And there's 150 inch under the deck. arcade rooms in here. We got the vintage arcade room. We have the, I'm still working on the Japanese anime theater room, which I'm still working on that. We have the tech room, which pretty much has all the cool stuff in it. I'm thinking about converting the arcade room. I don't, I got, I already got enough gamer rooms in the house. I don't need three of them in there, but I do want a simulator. I do want one. I want a massive wraparound screen, and that room is absolutely perfect for it. You know, for VR applications, and basically for a curved screen applications, stuff like that. It'd be perfect. driving simulator outside I've never seen one and it isn't hard to build either I mean pretty much all the projectors can be outer boxes which is really easy to design we use that advanced visible technology just designed to produce images at around 12 o'clock in the afternoon oh yeah definitely I think I'm gonna start doing more demonstrations outside It's just something about that. I don't know. Being outside and just watching your TV shows, man. It's nothing like it. I don't even deal with the mosquitoes, but I want to deal with that when we get the time. those sample sheets of that paint on screen because I don't want his product to be the only product up there. We're going to need another paint on screen. I am planning to purchase that company, the screen called T-Prism. What do I think is what it all... It's supposed to be a real black screen. I am looking forward to that one. I am looking forward to that one. That's something we need to test against.
Now, this is a company called Paint on Screen. This is their screen paint sample. They make screen paint. This is supposed to be an ultimate contrast. I don't know how this is contrast. How is this considered to be contrast? It's too light to be contrast. It's almost near white. So I don't know how that works. I'm gonna have to call the company up and have a talk with them because I don't know how they're, they're saying that's contrast. That's not contrast. That's a very, very light screen to be contrast. Sorry for looking mess. Tomorrow's a shave day, so. Shave when I can. I'm right, busy working on something. I still have this invisible technology. I said the stuff that y'all don't know about, I work off off camera that nobody knows about. And there's some projects I'm working on right now, just haven't had any time. But I'll get to it sooner or later. is supposed to be the high contrast screen. That's what I said, it, I back this in, I don't know how that's possible. When screen is very light, contrast is supposed to be dark. This is a contrast screen, that's contrast. I don't know what that is, how that's supposed to be contrast. that is this is a nice gunmetal screen but as I said before the problem with gunmetals is they have that reflective surface and they put the reflective surface there to make up for the screen's white levels drop and automatically if you make a screen dark the white levels start to drop so they put a reflective surface over top of it to make it to be able to produce higher white light but the only problem is it produces too much high white light and that's what causes the screen to wash out and fade that's why doesn't pick up proper reds and blues and greens and all that good stuff oh and there you go it's the most expensive screen i have in my collection this is a five thousand dollar projection screen I think when I get a chance, before we paint this screen over, we're just going to coat one section of it in just gray. Right there, that's white screen right there. That's a 0 0.9 elite screen right there. Brush and floss at the same time with Waterpick Sonic Fusion 2.0. By 1200, a WXGA Christie projector. Like I said, if you can't pick up on 5,000 lumens, you can't pick up on anything. We did that in a projector swap out demonstration. It doesn't make a difference. You can bring it down to 3,800 lumens, 3,600 lumens, bring it down to 32, 3,000, 28, 27, 26. Doesn't make a difference. If you can't pick up on 5,000 lumens, you're not picking up on anything. This screen's not black. And they can't pick up the contrast either. If you pick up contrast, you can't pick up color. Two 
two gray screen paint products here. Right there. We got one there. And we have a certified, certified, certified. We got a little bit of everything in there. Ooh, kaleidoscope. Hmm, let's get dizzy. Fade away. I well, said, without our technology, there is nobody. There's no in between. There is none. I tested them all. I tested all the certified projection screens. Did them all for short throw, long throw, with different caliber projectors. Took them outside, inside, dropped them in water, heated them up, everything. I've done them all. There is no. There's no other. I'm not trying to brag here, but it's the truth. Any company we challenge either does two things. Either they ignore us or they cancel. So once we're out of the picture, the only two people we have to deal with is whoever's making untested screen paints or overpriced projection screens are gonna cost you five and six thousand dollars easily. That's pretty much it. My technology is worth a heck of a lot more than what these big companies are charging. A lot more. Because I can come on here and do this live with no problem. when a big corporation gets their hands on my technology. What do you think it'll cost that? Way more than what this stuff costs. A lot more. Okay. I can replace all these screens. We're all certified. And this screen will level every last one of them. That's why I'm excited about that T-Prism. Very excited about that, because that looks like it's promising. It's promising. But let's see what it can do. Judging by what I've seen in the demonstrations, it doesn't look like it handles too well with too much light. But, and again, like I said, at the end of the day, it looks very promising. I thought the daylight screen was going to be promising. I really did. I saw the demonstration. I thought I saw I was looking at a black screen. I'm like, oh, shoot, daylight's got a black screen. That is going to be fascinating to do a test against. And then I get it down here, and this is what we got. Now, like I said, to be fair, they test their technology on white screens. I can understand that because the majority of most of the establishments you're going to walk into, establishments you're going to walk into, are going to have white screens. We test our products against their vest. White screens are cakewalk for our technology. But yeah, at the end of the day, if people want to sit there and say, oh, well, I'm not bragging, it's just honest truth. I got the demonstrations to back it up. The only three choices you have in projection screens is basically dealing with someone who does untested products that constantly, they can't and keep in mind, like I said, at the end of the day, they're going to cancel when it comes to our technology. There's no way in the world they can ever survive and the test our screens have to go through. That's why we have 11 cancellations. And as for the Phantom, the Phantoms beat what? 19? Four certified screens, uh, ultra short throw. And when we actually challenge other companies, they ignore us. The rest of them back down from that technology. It's only 10% done. It's a middle of the screen, a $5,000 projection screen.
I would love to be able to go down to a facility at any one of these companies and go side by side next to that technology. Oh, heck yeah, I would take that offer. You know why? Because my projectors are crap compared to what they're going to be using their demonstrations. And if I can do this on this projector, imagine what I can do on the projectors that they're using right now in their facilities. I like night shift just because I'm a night owl. I tend to stay up late. I would absolutely say working here fits my lifestyle. We're both in the same boat. I'm still trying to figure out how that considered to be a high contrast screen. High contrast is supposed to be to pick up a contrast level, black level. There's no point to have them up there to begin with. You know what? Let me do this real quick. I'm coming back to the demonstration. I love this particular demonstration. I need to do that on that black screen too. That one over there. Well, I'm going to have that black screen right over there soon. My 126 in that window. Get me a blacker screen. But I want to see something real quick. See right correctly. That's why you got to calibrate. I mean, when I do this in the form site, like the first thing I hear is, "Oh, well, you got too much like the environment. Your projector's not 4K. It's this, that, and the other. You know, you got to calibrate." It's all these, all these, all these excuses I get. This is when I go to these form sites, and I do the same exact demonstrations in a form site, and I get all these excuses because there's a lot of people in those form sites that I know have these screens that have four and five thousand dollar projection screens. That's why I'm in there. Because I know they have those high-end screens. When I take their sample, say, what screen you got? Well, I got so and so and so. I go to the kitchen, I go pull this screen out, pull this screen out. I lay all the screens, I watch this. You got too much light in the environment. Then I turn the lights out, and it's dark, and the screen's still reacting the same way. Now what? What's the problem now? Oh, you got to have a 4K projector. So I got to spend all this money for an expensive projector just to get the... Yeah, okay, sure. So I'm going to spend $3,000 for a projection screen that I got to turn around and spend an additional $4,000 for a projector. Then I got to take that $4,000 projector and calibrate it. And then I got to put myself in a dark environment just to get the screen to pop up. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm not doing that. My screen's not having that problem. Yours shouldn't be having that problem. Bath with how in the world that considered to be this got to be a typo. Somebody wrote that on there by mistake. They had to. There's no way in the world that's a contrast screen. That's virtually impossible. It's too light to be a contrast screen. I'd be like calling a cinema gray a contrast screen. Oh, 
but that's what, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say it's embarrassing, I'm just going to leave it at that. That really should not be an issue. Not for that kind of money. Let's go play with the uh, contrast shifting technology on our, our product. Let's go pull up a star field demonstration, something place they can't go. Your black levels. And again, like I said, the technology we're using right now is not black. It just has a technology in it that allows it to be able to see a contrast level over a five thousand dollar gunmetal screen right there at the bottom. Let me send it over to a company today so they can get a chance to see. They want to order a couple of gallons of this stuff when we get it launched. Vaccine at pa.gov slash COVID. Pay for Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Been there, technology we have. Even though I told you before, because I can show you everything out in the open so you can see it. Now, as I told you before, that even though the technology we have here has the ability to mimic a contrast level, nothing's going to be a contrast level next to a black screen. Black screens are the only ones that can produce a 100% contrast level with no problem. These can, screens, this technology we have here can mimic a contrast level. So let's go over to, where's our star field demonstration? Ooh, I like this. 
You know, that's freaking cool. I need something like that for the ceiling. See, I can never find stuff like this for the ceiling. That would look cool on the ceiling. As we're going through all these contrast levels, as I told you before, great screen paint products. I feel like I was like, wait a minute, is my screen moving? Because up close, that looks really weird. The screen's actually moving back and forth. Oh, I like that right there. Yeah, I need that for the ceiling. Let's go get our historical demonstration, which should be on here. how black that looks. That's contrast shifting technology. Now we're going to put up against a screen that's physically jet black. It's not going to be able to match a jet black screen. Virtually impossible because only a jet black screen is going to be to produce that 100% contrast level. And like I said before, when I told you that these products right here, these light gray screen paints, as I said before, we were making them eight years ago. It's an eight-year-old, nine-year-old projection screen. Sorry about that. So you guys will have brand new project projectors, and you got like a nine, you got an old screen. Yeah, but this is so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your screen's old. That's the end of it. That's the end of the story. Your screen's old. It's not sweet. Yeah, contrast shifting technology. That screen is black. That screen is gray. But this technology can mimic a contrast level. Even better than a $5,000 projection screen. Oh, see, between those who are sitting around talking, oh, but contrast shifting technology doesn't exist. Under God's law, it does. Because now you're looking at two screens side by side. One screen is gray. The other screen is black. And it's actually darker than a phoenix. It can mimic contrast levels. Oh, I can't wait to show this off on Facebook.
right here is the gamer the gamer cinema and this right here in this container what's left over of it is four different versions of this this right here is the professional are we going to go professional i don't know if we're going to go professional or performance i'm going to go with the performance black but it's in professional black we'll figure it out which one we're going to call it but like i said you can see two versions so this is the gamer cinema and this is the performance i like the performance better My countertop, please. That's how black it is. So now, this one right here has contrast shifting technology, which gives it the ability to be able to produce images, dark images like that. Neither one of the sample sheets or the screen paint can either match any of the screens. We need to do a red level color test. Let me see something real quick. This is the first time I've had these side by side like this. Which gives me a chance to experiment with my own stuff. See exactly how it matches up one to another. which is interesting because black screen has heightening technology, which allows it to be to produce higher white levels, where the other screen on the other end, it's gonna to be to produce the higher white levels due to the fact that it is a kind of a, a kind of a grayish kind of screen. When I mean grayish, when you paint it on, you'll see why it's, we call it the grayish, because it has a really weird color embedded into it. levels that the other screen is mimicking at the exact same time. All right, let's do this with the reds. Maybe we can freaking we get a an idea. Ooh, man, that is really freaking good, really close. So they're both using the gamer technology. The black is going to pull up a slightly higher uh, red due to the fact that it is basically a darker product. But man, that's really interesting. I never did them on this level before. I know this is going to decide it's going to pick up the higher white level. Actually, pretty good for a jet black screen. All right. Oh. I'm going to pause it right there. I'm going to go back a minute. We're going to pause it right there. Right there. We're going to pause it right there. Now, mind you, that's a jet black screen. Right? That's how light the product that's laying up against the jet black screen. One's jet black, the other one is the gamer cinema. Look 
the high the white levels and both of these screens are pulling up now i expect for this one to pull up a higher white level because like i said it is a, a kind of a uh, uh it's a dark gray screen but this one's jet black over here and that's darker than the phoenix and look at that i can see why you would cancel your products not coming over here literally these screens would ball your screen up to nothing my goodness i had no idea they were both this powerful let's go on a red that's it that's pretty much it look at that so we got a black screen and black screen of the, the performance black and then we have the gamer cinema and we have two screen paint mixes against six both of these screens are producing better color look at this this is let me go back to this real quick but look how they're able like the black screen can pull high enough white levels to blend into gray screens. The gray screen can mimic contrast levels that can mimic almost close to black screens. And in between that, with the two mixes, the, are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah. I can see why you canceled out. I would have too, I tell you honestly. Let's go to Starfield demonstration. I can honestly see why you canceled out. That was a wise choice. You couldn't pick up a contrast on either one of them. Get this one over here. Oh, this world, crazy. I'm really impressed by the black screen. Black screens, the fact that that black screen is picking that white level up that high, and black screen, keep in mind, it's only at 5% done. It's not finished yet. We got a few things we're going to be working on with it. So, as I said before, the cinema, the gamer cinema, has that shifting technology allowed to be the mimic contrast levels. And as you can see that, there's a difference between my product and my two screens where your two products are not showing anything at all. Your two products are actually showing the exact same thing on both screens, which is a washed out image. You're not picking up any contrast at all. It's not to put his product down. This is very interesting. You have to put these tests in here. You have these tests are really important. They have to be done. I want to see that star-filled screensaver on both of them. Now we showed you the contrast levels, the star-filled demonstration on the certified screens. You know that the gamer, the gamer of um, cinema pulls higher contrast levels, better colors. You know, the screens, but to put both of the screens side by side, the black screen and the um, the gray screen side by side, the two technologies we developed, you can just see exactly where this one is actually picking up amazing contrast levels next to the black screen. The black screen is always going to be more superior because it's black. But as you can see in the two screen paint products, they have no change, no effect, nothing. It's still the same. They cannot pick up contrast. And if we go over to the reds, the pull up the reds levels, as you can see, look at the red levels on both screens on our technology. I could literally do demonstrations where I can basically just blow out products. I'm not to be rude here, but we can just basically blow out products on two screens at the same time, side by side, while we're challenging our own stuff.
And these are two different screens. The black screen and the gray screen are two different screens. As I told you before, when we lay the gray screens up, and I've done this before in demonstrations, and we use that shifting technology, when we lay those screens up, when they're sitting in front of the projector, they go dark. If I take that screen right now and I disconnect it off the wall, when I, when I get done, I'm going to lay it in my hallway, not in my hallway, but here in my kitchen area, where there's plenty of light in front of the projector, you'll see the screen go back to its original form. It's gray. It can just pick up a contrast level that can blend close into the black screen. And you'll see with the, how dark the black screen comes up. But you can also see how we put the heightener into the black screen to pick up its high enough white levels. If you were to look at that, you would think they were both the same screens. No, they're two different screens. Let's go over to. Now we've done the white levels, just so you can show that we don't hide anything. That's a problem I have with these, like I said, these light gray screen paints, white levels are too high. They're way, way, way too high. And this is why colors don't pick up on them. This is why you gotta calibrate. This is why you gotta be in a dark environment. This is why. It's the equivalence to a white screen. That's pretty much what you got. That's why your colors are not picking up. Anytime you got a light gray screen, you got the equivalence of a white screen. That's pretty much what you got. Same problems that a white screen has, same problems you got. You can't pick up contrast, you can't pick up color, and you have to be in the dark to where to pick up. Okay, let's go over to, uh, I'm gonna come out of here real quick. the white levels are on a black screen, that black technology. God's work, God's, God's technology is impressive, it is, and I'm shocked myself, I really am, because I never put the black screen next to the, the cinema, um, the cinema gamer. Cinema gamer produces very high white levels, amazing colors, and it has a contrast shifting, but the black screen, the fact that it's going toe to toe with it, look at the, look at the, look at the white levels, how it's pulling off back and forth, man, it's amazing. Look at that. That is quite impressive. I know we put, the, like I said, we put a heightener in it to make the white levels higher, but good gracious, man, it's really good. It is really, really freaking good.
I'm impressed with both of them. I really am. Well, it doesn't make a difference. I'm getting both screens anyway. I'm getting this one, the new black one over here. And I'm getting this one right here, the Gamer Cinema. I'm getting that on 155 upstairs. So I'm getting both of them. Ain't that right, Taku? Yeah, pay me no mind. It's like, whatever. I'm getting both of them. I might just paint me, get me a portable too. I'm getting me another portable too. Because I got games coming out. We got Far Cry 6 coming out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's supposed to be October the 6th, right? I got to go check my calendar for that one. Because I got an automatic up page for that one in advance. And we got the, um, we got, uh, um, Battlefield 2042 or something like that. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait. You saw these giant screens I got in the house? Are you kidding me? Oh, heck yes. I can't wait. I just want to take some time off and do some gaming. Because I haven't had any time to do any gaming at all, period. I'm trying to figure out what screen's going to be setting up. I'm definitely going to be on the acoustic. I got the acoustic upstairs. I'm going to be setting up on that one, too. Let's go take a look at this right here. So I see how good the white levels are on the black screen. I want to see the contrast level, that um, contrast shifting technology we have embedded on the gamer cinema. Like I said, it's not going to be equal to a black screen because a black screen is only going to be the poor contrast over that high. But the fact that it's bringing it up that well actually is extremely good. Because wait till you see the color of the screen. Once I pull it off and I lay it in the, in the kitchen, we see how light it is. It's, it's not too light, but it, it's, it's up there. But the fact that it can pick up that, uh, that contrast like that is actually really good. And this is what I try to explain to you about these gray mixes. I mean, look, at the end of the day, they're obsolete. I'm sorry. I mean, people can get upset and angry about that, but it's an obsolete product. I'm showing you demonstrations, what, from my old channel, from Digital and Crystal Screen Paint? Like eight years ago, when you watching me paint in a screen of that color, it reacts the same way. You got an old screen. Brand new projectors. So you got brand new projectors, 4K update brand new projectors, and your screen is old as I don't know what. Spider. That was a big one. You, know, you got to count with the technology we have today. If you have to sit there and calibrate a projector at the end of the day and turn your living room into a cave because you're afraid your contrast levels and stuff are going to be washing out, yeah, your screen's over. We got to do the Sony. We got to do the Sony. Oh, we got to do this one right here. This is a good contrast, too. We got to do this one again because I want to do them side by side. Because once we launch these two. I'm going to get that question, okay, what's the difference between the gamer, uh, cinema, and the, uh, the uh, we're going to call it professional, I'm going to call it professional performance, I don't know which one, but just say it's just called the, the professional black, that we want to call it, right? What's the difference between the two? So that's why we do the side by side, so that we can say, okay, this one has this, this one has that, you know, you can figure out exactly which one you want. But I had no idea that that black screen was going to react that good, and the contrast shift on this side was going to react that good at the same time. And like I said, putting the two light gray screen mixes in the middle to show you that they're not picking up nothing at all. Now I wish because I don't have enough of the black formula left over at all, period. I didn't make enough. So what I have to do is make some because we need now to paint the screen in half. Get the paint in half and half. I want to see more of this. So that's what I'll do. I'll just get some more of the ingredients. I'll make it again. And we'll paint half of the screen in half. One side with this technology, this side of technology. Yeah, I got some more of this. This allows me to see how well the 
contrast shifting technology is working next to the black screen and allows me to see the black screen's white levels performance against the other screen. We have to do this one. I know the other screen on this side looks much smoother on the paint job than this job. Didn't do a very good job painting this screen on this side. Like I said, I only had a little bit of the leftover, so I had to use what I had just to see exactly how the screen was going to react. Next time, we'll paint it over to the other screen. We're going to do a half and half on the 160-inch screen so I can have them side by side instead of having all this set up right here. And then that way, we can get a better idea. I think we want to start doing that more often, doing half and halves. Cinema's pulling amazing contrast levels, or that the the black professional is pulling up high white levels. It's just man, I'm loving it. And we got the two gray screens in between to basically show you the balance. That's why I say you have to have something in there to show you the balance level of where your screen stands at. That's why we need those certifies in there so we can see exactly where our screen stand at. Yeah, for this individual to say that, yeah. Keep in mind, and I'm not going to mention his name because it's not worth my time, but as I said before, your product is obsolete. We have technology now that can produce extremely high white levels right next to like gray screens. And both of these screens are using dark technology. gonna be my campaign for now on. I like gray screens and all that. they're obsolete. That's it. I'm telling you you're dealing with old screens. LG fish, LG demos, that's what I want to see. Let's start off with the horse. Look at the shifting technology, the gray screen is freaking amazing. Like I said, man, I love both of them, man. But look at that, look at that. Mind you, this screen right here is not black on the far end. This is using contrast shifting technology, it's mimicking a contrast level. This screen is producing a 100% contrast level because it's black. I 
has extremely good for screen that's basically mimicking contrast. I had to just paint it half the screen with this. Why didn't I paint half the screen? I gotta make the new coating, make it again, and paint the other half of the screen. I should have painted the half of the screen, but I didn't know it was gonna react this way, honestly. And this surface is just pretty messed up. Like I said, I painted it onto an old surface. I, to, I needed to paint it on this one right here. Let's go back to the beginning. Maintaining the red level. What is it going to have people thinking like, I don't know which one to get? This one or that one? Which one to get? Black level. This is going to cause some confusion. I'm getting both. I got my wall already prepped already. Already prepped for this one already. That one's gonna be done on Saturday. This one, when we finally get this thing finished and done, this is gonna be next. Oh man, I like that, man, I really do. What's this right here? Even though I'm a projector fan, I still would like to go and check that out and see what that looks like. I'm a tech junkie. That is in my nature. chance to see the contrast at the same time so I get a chance to see this screen use contrast shifting and this screen maintain its white level with that uh, we put the heightener to be the producer at higher white level and we'll see how the gray screens react to it how now I'm going to design the labels for these. I don't know exactly how I'm going to design the labels for this tonight. I'm doing both labels tonight.
Okay, people. I'm gonna, hold on for a minute. So let me take the screens down before we get off from here. I mean, I am so excited right now. Usually, I don't get. To, I'm excited. Man, I have to paint the screen right down the middle. I have to get some more of this stuff, make it, and paint it right down the middle because I get a chance to see the contrast shift. You know, this one. You know. Oh man, it's just. I love it. I freaking love it. Hold on for a minute. Let me let me get all this stuff pulled down real quick. I need to. God, can calm down. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's been a long time since I've been. I love this man. So let's get these screens off. Because I still have to be outside today for another demonstration. Man, I can't wait to do this for myself. I'm going to take this people down. I got more light in my kitchen, that's why. So that's the difference between the two. Told you, when that screen was shifting and turning dark, and it was blending into this screen, and the screen was producing high enough white levels to blend into that screen, that's what I found so fascinating. This screen is really, really crazy dark. See how dark that screen is? It's really dark. And this is also about that contrast shifting technology, because this screen has it's 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 um it's light. It's, it's a darker. It is dark, but it, it's stuff we're used to developing. Like I said, like stuff like this, it was considered to be a light screen to us. And the fact that it was able to mimic that contrast level and blend into this, oh man, I love it. I actually love it. It came out fantastic, better than I thought. So what I'm about to do now is I'm gonna have to paint half of this screen right here. Oh by the way, um, this is painted off a. If anybody know what this one was asking what this material is this is actually a window curtain right there just painted over top of it but yeah man that came out a lot better and then in fact we had the two light mixes next to it and both of them are just dominating the mixes at the same time where they're blending back and forth it's like man it was, it was a beautiful thing to watch so i'm happy with that i'm really really happy with that all right well i gotta be outside soon um, because that route say out there, 92 inches hanging out right now is the, uh, gamer cinema. We had to do demonstrations on that outside. I need pictures of that for the website and I need pictures inside. So I have to come in take these pictures out there and do a video demonstration out there. And then I got to come back in and I got to, um, I got to take more pictures in here and load them up on the website and then go upstairs and make the labels and then have the labels onto the containers and then get all those pictures taken so everything will be set up for the launch date on um, the 2nd of October. The blacker version is going to be coming right after that. I think we can knock out both of the demonstrations on that one, probably all the demonstrations on a black one, probably in about uh, two days. So get those knocked out of the way. But first, I got to get my customers' orders because the rest of the products, for those of you are waiting for your orders, I do apologize. Uh, rest of your stuff is coming in tomorrow. So we'll be processing those orders and getting them ready. And you guys will be taking care of tomorrow. So everybody will be good to go. So we can start, go back to work on that. And then the Phoenix is not going anywhere. The black Phoenix is not, I probably asked me the Phoenix, no, it's not going anywhere. That's just a more advanced version of the Phoenix. It does have some requirements, the blacker version, um, that uh, um, we're gonna call it the professional. I'm gonna call it professional. I gotta figure professional performance, I'll figure out which one it is. But either way, um, it's a little bit more different. It is darker than the Phoenix. It does produce a bit of a higher white level than the Phoenix, but as I said before, it's going to have a certain lumen requirement. So we're requiring for that one to be 36 and up to use it. Um, you can go below that, but that's what we're requiring, okay? You know, you know how I work, you know what I mean? Like the projector I got sitting on the floor, it's required to only be used on an 80-inch screen. This is a 148-inch screen, okay? Just put it that way. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, thank you all for your time. I have to go in. God bless.